So in this example, we have this uh, word problem, terminal velocity, and it states, terminal velocity is reached on a free-falling object, such as a parachutist, when the downward force of gravity equals the upward force of drag. This keeps the object from accelerating. The equation for terminal velocity is given as V, and here it is here, this big equation here, V is equal to the square root of 2w divided by c subscript d rho a. This is a Greek letter uh, pronounced as rho. This is pronounced c with a subscript of d, and of course this is a, feet per second, where w equals the weight of the falling object, rho equals the density of the air, a equals the surface area of the object, and c subscript d equals the drag coefficient, that's the air resistance. Suppose a parachutist who weighs 170 pounds jumps from an airplane and opens his parachute. Upon landing, if the air density is 0 0.00237, the drag coefficient is 1.2, and the surface area of his parachute is 350 square feet, what is the terminal velocity of the parachutist? Convert the parachutist's terminal velocity of feet per second into miles per hour, and of course we have this hint here, there are 5,280 feet in one mile. So it looks like there's a lot going on here, but everything is spelled out for us. All these variables, are, are the values of these variables are given to us. So we could see right here, 170 pounds. Well, that's our weight. That's our W. We have the air density of 0 0.00237. That's rho. That's this right up here. The drag coefficient, that's 1.2. That's C subscript D, that's this one here. And of course, the uh, surface area of the parachute, that's 350 square feet, and of course, that is A. So similar to what we did in the previous example, we're just going to substitute all those values in for the equation here. So we'll do that. We'll do 2W. So 2w in the weight, w is 170. And I'm going to divide that by c subscript d here, that's this here. That's the drag coefficient, that's 1.2. Multiplied to rho, that's what that means, we're going to multiply. That's rho, that's the density of the air. That's 0 .00237. 0 .00 and then multiply that to the, uh, to the square feet of the parachute, which is 350, that's A. And then finally, we take the square root of the entire thing. And that's our velocity, V, our terminal velocity. Now there's a couple of things going on here. We have two sets of grouping symbols. We have this radical sign, the square root symbol, and we have this division bar. And grouping symbols tend to set apart different parts of the expression, and we're gonna do those parts separately. So since this division bar is inside the radical sign, the square root here, we wind up doing this inside here first. So we'll simply do 2 times 170, and that's 340, right? Then we divide that by 1.2 times 0 0.00237, let me close that off, times 350. That all comes out to be 0.9954. And of course, we're taking the square root of that. We're still inside our radical here, still inside this grouping symbol. So we'll do 340 divided by 0.9954. Now this is not gonna come out to be an exact value, it's gonna be an approximation. So we signify approximation with this wiggly, this squiggled equal sign, that means approximately equal to. And for this particular problem, we'll round it to uh, two decimals, which is 
which is good enough for this type of uh, example here. So 340 divided by 0.9954 is approximately equal to 341.57. And of course, it's the square root of that. So then the square root of 341.57, again, that's approximately equal to 18. 0.48, and keep in mind that this is feet per second. So I'm going to write this as feet per second. So the velocity, the terminal velocity for a 170 pound parachutist as they jump out of a plane, giving all these other parameters here is traveling at 18.48 feet per second. But what we want to do is we want to convert that to miles per hour. We want to convert it to miles per hour. So as we think about it, if they're traveling 18.48 feet in one second, how many feet are they traveling after an hour? So for an hour, we have 60 seconds to a minute and 60 minutes to an hour. So if we multiply the two together, that gives us 3,600 seconds in an hour. So if they're traveling 18.48 feet in one second, how many feet did they travel after one hour, which is 3,600 seconds? Well, we'll just take the 18.48 and multiply that to the 3,600 seconds, which is an hour. That comes out to be 66,528 feet. Of course, I don't want to know how many feet they traveled. I want to know how many miles. So I'll just divide this by 5,280, if there's 5,280 feet in a mile, divide that into the 66,528, and that comes out to be 12.6. So 18.48 feet per second is the same as 12.6 miles per hour. And there we go.